Interesting. So, I mean, do you have any examples of how you helped somebody pick a course that they weren't thinking of, but then based on this test that they had to change, uh, yeah. they decided to change their mind? It's quite simple. It's like a doctor's job, you know. So, if you go to a doctor and ask that, okay, this is what I'm looking for, he would not say, okay, chalo, either late jaw and then we'll start the operation. You know, he will ask you, okay, do this test based mm. on the symptoms which you sh which they shared. And mm. then uh, based on the test report, he will suggest you. The okay. same thing a good career counselor would do with you. Okay. So there are tools available. Uh, if you want to have a tools like dermatographic multiple intelligence analysis, which we did it for your mm. kid, mm. Uh, based on fingerprints. Mm. Or... Uh, online aptitude or it's not a right word to say it's an assessment student assessment test so you okay. will ask multiple questions in a different ways and then the personality okay. has been assessed through that answers so these are the two different okay. ways in which we ask the students to go through and any of these report when it comes in front of us then we are in a better position based on our okay. experience interpretation of the report because that's an art of interpreting the report you know Okay. And then the report itself, we guide the students or parents that uh, okay. what he should do, which area is good for him, which uh, job environment or business environment would be good for him. Uh, based on what kind of tests you take, you can go in, in detail about that personality. Okay. And it not only okay. helps the students, but also helps the parents that how to parent the kid. And that's okay. another challenge, right? Yeah. I mean, you have got a two kids, you can't okay. treat them equally which we usually do. Say so for example, yes. if a guy has got high EQ, and yeah. a, a girl has got high IQ, you have got two kids. And okay. you say that, okay, whosoever listens to me, I'll give this chocolate to him or her. Okay. The high EQ person would okay. fall in love with the chocolate and he'll do it immediately. But yeah. high IQ person will ask you 10 more questions. First, <laughs> justify me, why should I do that? I'm not interested in your chocolate. Correct. If you know what kind of personality they carry, it becomes so easy for you as a parent to parent the kid in accordance. And get work done from them. Yeah. In fact, we also have the different learning style. Okay. We are audio learner, we are visual learner, we are kinesthetic learner. So we see and learn, we hear and learn. In my case, I'm audio learner. Okay. The more I okay. hear, better mm. I learn. Easily I learn. Okay. The more okay. I see, my learning ability goes down. Okay. okay. Kinesthetic, my hand movements are not that great. It means okay. if I'm batting, I may score 100 and second match, I may score zero also. Okay. Okay. Yeah? okay. So if okay. I know myself well, which I did you know, eight years back for myself, then I can manage myself accordingly. So it has okay. got a lot of advantages to it. Achha. Okay. So these, these are psychometric tests uh, or you, you were talking about uh, dermatoglyphics, which I, I mean, I know what it is, but um, uh, you tell us more for the benefit of our uh, audience and also give us a little more information about uh, if it's dermatoglyphics, of course, you can do for very young children, but psychometric is not for young children, right? So what's like the age group? Ideally, the student should be ninth or 10th standard or onwards. So it okay. is good for them because they can comprehend the question. Otherwise, there is no point of having that test, what you rightly said. So ninth or 10th standard students should appear for that particular test. Okay. And okay. Uh, we, people call it different by different name, but the right name, according to my understanding, should be student assessment test. Because okay. what happens in the name of the test, there are many companies who are just fooling people around because okay. they just want to have the database of the client. Okay. So okay. there are many companies who go out into the school they will tell, propose to the principal that, oh, we have got this free test for your kids and then they can get to know about themselves. And okay. they will just throw away the uh, test for no price or, or less price. And okay. they will try to ex extract the database. Okay. And it's a big money racket for these companies. Similarly, okay. what these companies like uh, JE promoters, you know, coaching class promoters, they want okay. to catch hold of the student when they're in 9th and 10th. So these yeah. are the yeah. techniques they do it. Oh, you are very good in psychometric tests. You can be an IITN, come and join. Okay. So okay. get out of that herd mentality. And I also tell the schools because many times, stool in order, in order to save their money and okay. kind of offering some kind of free service and pleasing the parent, they also allow these kind of things to happen. Okay. Parents, they are not aware of what kind of test is all about. What does it mean to be 
just you have right. taken the test doesn't mean that it has to be right so the point right. what i'm making is that the assessment test is the right word because there has to right. be three elements when you're taking the online test and okay. i'm sure that not many people talk about it you know and i'm sure that your audience will also may be hearing first time it's okay. not a psychometric test it's not an aptitude test it's an assessment test why the okay. proper assessment test should include these three elements number one right. aptitude test so aptitude test is a part of a full test series okay second okay. is personality test and okay and third is interest test interest test okay yeah. okay so okay. these are the three elements through which i judge the person okay then okay. i can come out with my interpretation for that person okay as a reason why i saying we should not call it aptitude test because it's just one side of the test one element of the test so okay. aptitude judge through their question the way it is been designed psychologically your mm. aptitude your skill in one mm. particular area mm. personality judge your type of personality whether you are aggressive okay. mm. whether you are emotional whether you are connective whether you are observation observator etc and mm -hmm. interest test has got all sorts of questions related to assess your interest given okay. in this situation what mm -hmm. you will do what you will do okay okay no okay mm -hmm. that tells me your interest so when i judge you in these three sets of question mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. only the true personality comes out and uh, you need some help to even make sense of the test report right I mean, can Absolutely. can anybody just consume it like that no i just said uh, earlier the reading the report is an art okay and that's okay. why you require a uh, professional doctors like people to do it you know so the x ray yeah. report cannot be read by anyone a patient can look at it x ray report you can look at it mi yeah. report you can look at it. you can't comprehend or you yeah. cannot comprehend as good as a professional person same Correct. thing you go to a professional person who does this and okay. then he will be in a better position to comprehend for you and to make your life easy so that okay. rather than just saving few thousand rupees for this yeah. kind of case yeah. you know you save your son's children's career and yeah. lakhs of rupees you are going to invest in their future education good okay so a couple of